few more um, uh, definitions of things for the BJTs. So if I have a common emitter uh, BJT in, in the forward active mode, this will be my equivalent circuit um, that can replace that um, for uh, large signals. And let's also look at the, the current gain parameter uh, beta, the common emitter current gain parameter. So this is the collector current as a function of the collector uh, to emitter voltage for different base currents. Now we can uh, take a DC value of uh, beta, so beta sub DC, um, and that is looking at the DC uh, collector current at some point divided by the uh, DC value of the base current. We can also have an AC uh, value of the uh, beta term, which is just going to be the rate of change of the two uh, when we at, at some constant uh, collector to emitter voltage. And this is going to be the, the short circuit uh, collector to emitter current gain because we're taking the collector current and dividing by the base current. So although there, there could be a, a distinction between the two, for everything that we're going to do in this class, we're going to say that there's no distinction. And so when we write beta, that just means uh, it's equal to uh, the DC and the AC uh, definition of it. In saturation, if we zoom in on the collector current versus uh, collector to emitter voltage, so we're looking at this part, the saturation part of the curve, uh, we can define a resistance between the collector and the emitter of the, um, the BJT. And to do that, we're just going to take a linear approximation of the slope of the collector current curve. And this collector current is uh, going to be uh, less than um, a, the value of beta times the uh, base current. So because it's less than that, we're going to define a different uh, beta. This is going to be the forced beta. So beta sub force, and that's going to be the collector current in saturation divided by the base current. And this value of beta is always going to be less than the value of, of uh, beta that's going to be in forward active mode. That's the beta sub f. So this is beta in forward active mode. And so your beta forced, which is the beta in saturation, is always going to be less than the beta that you get in forward active. Uh, I also want to define uh, something called the overdrive factor. And the larger the overdrive factor just means that you're going to uh, force the transistor to be operating uh, more and more in saturation. So this overdrive factor is going to be defined as the uh, forward active beta divided by uh, beta forced. Or if you uh, put in the um, definition of, of beta force um, then you can also uh, relate this to the base current. Another way of uh, using this overdrive factor is saying that okay I have some minimum base current that's going to put the transistor into uh, saturation and you multiply that by the overdrive factor 
to get the base current that you'll actually use. in order to uh, drive the, the BJT into saturation. So that overdrive factor gives you kind of a margin of error um, to make sure that you're, you're switching on your uh, transistor to act like that, that closed switch.